So, in order to move towards a sustainable energy future, we need to move towards renewable energy sources such as wind and solar power. However, the problem with such renewable sources is that it is often intermittent in nature. For example, the sun only shines during the daytime, but not at night. As a result, we need to pair renewable energy sources with advanced battery systems that can actually store this renewable energy when it is present in excess and release it on demand during times of shortfall in order to power our homes, industries, laptops, cell phones, electric vehicles, etc. However, the lithium-ion batteries that we use today for many of these applications have a very limited energy density. Imagine if we can have cell phone batteries that we only need to charge once every week instead of every single day. And so to this end, I work on lithium sulfur batteries, which are basically an advanced form of lithium-ion batteries that in theory have more than five times the energy density of lithium-ion batteries that we use today. However, in practice, these batteries often suffer from very low capacity and short cycle life, and that's because the sulfur intermediates leak out into the electrolyte during the operation of the battery itself. And so to address these challenges, I was the first in the world to develop a yolk shell structure for lithium sulfur batteries, as you see on the schematic on the leftmost. This basically involves encapsulating a sulfur electrode in a titanium dioxide shell to prevent these sulfur intermediates from leaking out. And while engineering some internal void space into the shell in order to allow for the sulfur to expand into during the battery operation. And by encapsulating sulfur with even more conductive encapsulation materials, for example, transition metal sulfides, conducting polymers, and 2D graphene, we can further increase the electronic conductivity of these sulfur electrodes by more than 10 orders of magnitude. And this allows us to achieve very fast charge-discharge rate of 15 minutes or less, even faster than that of lithium sulfur batteries we have today. And overall, with these lithium sulfur batteries, these various sulfur encapsulation designs, we can achieve energy densities that is three times that of lithium ion batteries we have today. And so the next stage will be to scale up these batteries from the coin cell configuration that we have today into battery prototypes, and finally into huge battery packs that we can then use to power our sustainable future. My name is Zhu Wei from ASTAR, and I thank you for your attention.